right now, everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. Good morning. It is Sunday, March 28th, and this is the first time I've vlogged in two weeks. So I finished my first draft of my current work in progress two weeks ago, and I needed to take a break from it. I needed to walk away. I needed to let it sit for a little bit before I can go back to it. Um, if I had any, you know, hope in making it better than what it is. So I took one week where I didn't look at it, didn't think about it, I thought about it, but I didn't actively try to brainstorm anything for an entire week. And I kind of went over that in my last video or two videos ago now, um, all the things I did that week. This week was supposed to be the week where I started actively brainstorming and working on uh, prepping for act two. And I did that. I did um, brainstorm quite a bit. I think I have all of my names done. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I had to like go through my mental tech list. Yes, all the names are done. Um, the only thing that I really have left to brainstorm is um, like what my monster looks like and what the lore is behind my monster. I have a new name for it. I'm not going to share it yet, um, but I have a new name for it and I like it. I like where it uh, like the direction it's going and uh yeah so I've been doing that but that, it's hard to vlog thinking there's no there's no content in that so I haven't filmed anything but today is the day I finally crack this baby open and start re-outlining and uh I wanted to vlog that I wanted to vlog this hopefully productive Sunday um, I hope that motorcycle isn't too loud, sorry. Um, my only problem with that is uh, we we know the shtick on this channel. We know that I have chronic illnesses, I have chronic pain, and I struggle with that and working around that on the daily. I have something new. <laughs> so I have a uh, carbidal tunnel syndrome which sounds like carpal tunnel. It's kind of the same vibe. Um, it is the nerve going from your elbow up into these two fingers um, from having my arm bent so much at this desk while I'm working and writing and leaning like this, like I like to do. Um, I have developed carpal tunnel syndrome. It's also uh, something ulnar, ner ulnar nerve something um basically I messed up the nerve and that means I can't feel these two fingers um which makes this hand kind of useless um and very weak and I'm having trouble like opening things and writing with a pen <laughs> which is uh making life hard um my mom is a, a occupational therapist um she's in school to be an occupational therapist and so she's given me some exercises to do that I've been doing and it's helped, but it's also um, made it feel like my hand is always about to start gripping um, because I'm like working the nerve out. And so I'm just, it's been a rough, it's been like two weeks that I've had this. Um, and it's like the right here, it just is, is real tight right there right now, right now. And then these are like kind of like when you when your fingers are like falling asleep if you're like sitting having them like weird it feels like that it's weird so that's the obstacle i have to overcome um i tried to give it time but it's taking too long and there's only so much resting i can do before i lose my mind so today is hopefully gonna be productive i'm hoping that this doesn't uh get in the way too much but uh I will definitely like listen to my body if it's becoming painful that I'm, I'm gonna stop. Um, I think typing isn't gonna be too bad. So that's good because I've been typing at work and I've been able to do that. Um, I think it's just writing with like a pen. So that's the game plan. That's the obstacle we're currently working with. Um, I do have a smoothie, which is great. Um, I've 
had really bad allergies and so I just decided I wanted some extra vitamin C to kind of like hopefully help that. So I got a smoothie and I'm really excited and let's get started. I hope the fan sounds aren't too loud because it's hot in here. Uh, also, my mouth is red uh, because I just drank that freeze. But I wanted to update you because I got the mail and my Ipsy bag came in and I just thought it'd be fun to show you. Uh, since this vlog is a one day vlog, I feel like I can show you guys extra stuff. So... Got a not so great brush. I don't know if it's static. Yeah, it's just static. Okay. Just like a kabuki brush. Um, it's decently soft. I don't love the brushes that you get with these, but um, they work fine. They're just not as dense as I like my brushes. They're like always really fluffy. So that's the brush. This is the bag for this month. That's really cute. I like that. Ooh, what's this? Uh, color something nail. Oh, nail polish. Mm. Not my color, <laughs> but um, it's cute for someone. Uh, that's just I baby pink is is not not my thing. Uh, they are real magnet mascara from Benefit. Um, I've never tried the magnet ones, but uh, the, their real is really good mascara, so that's cool. Got highlighter or eyeshadow. My mouth is really red. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, shimmery. So that's that. The. Ariel and Luna eyeshadow duo. Um, they're really shiny. I might use it. Um, probably not, but you know, it's nice. And this is milk or oh, silk. Uh, paraben sulfate free for all hair types. What is this? Hair repair therapy deep conditioning hair mask. This tiny little thing um, will probably work great for me since my hair is real short, um, but for anyone else this is probably like one usage, I guess. I think that's it. This comes with the card. Yeah, but what is in this? So that's the bag. That's pretty cute. See if there's if I got any add ons. I don't think I did it with me. Nope. Okay, so I got a brush, a nail polish, a mascara, eyeshadow, and a hair mask. Overall, this one's pretty good. Um, not my favorite, but it's only like 15 bucks a month, and um, compared to me going to Target and like just getting random shit, like I feel like this is. A decent deal so I can try like different things that I probably wouldn't pick up otherwise. This will probably be going to my mom because I don't wear baby pink on my nails. I just don't like it. So I've already come to a chapter that I want to reconfigure and that's chapter one. Um, I have my chapter one starting as they're driving up to Ravenwood. Um, she's with her dad and it kind of starts like talking about like I only have three memories of my mom, um, and kind of like give me a little backstory. It's a little bit uh, info dumpy, but 
I do like that part. I think I can reconfigure it so that it comes up at some point um, better. But I had this idea for an intro scene of the main character Riley and her dad stopping at this diner before they get to Ravenwood. So I think I'm going to have that be my opening scene for now, um, as opposed to them driving up to Ravenwood. Um, because I think I want to start more with the kind of, it, in my head, it just like the uncanny valley of it, where just the people are very, very nice, but you could tell there's just something off, rather than woods. Um, I think it's just a little bit more effective. So that is what I'm trying to rewrite and re-outline at the moment. Um, I'm not having a great uh, mental health day, so I keep having to stop and decompress and then go back to this. Um, but I have my prologue re-outlined, so that was not a whole lot of work, but it's done. Um, so. I'm going to get to re-outlining chapter one, and hopefully it turns into something good. So I took a little bit of break because you saw me to eat some pizza, um, and I'm currently working on chapter four. Um, I've done the prologue and the first two chapters, so I'm four chapters in, and so far I'm feeling okay. Um, I'm trying to include as much detail as I can into this outline, um, so I know what to do when I go back for draft two. Um, I know I mentioned as part of my brainstorming thing that I was trying to figure out if I was going to stick with Ravenwood as the name of the town and how I was going to make that work since in my first draft there was no real reason for it to be called Ravenwood. Um, and so I have introduced some uh, ravens and uh, birds of the crow family <laughs> to the book. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first draft. It's like these like little changes that I keep thinking of that like I could have done and it would have added so much. So it adds to the creepiness factor um, and it, in, it creates some possibilities of uh, cool things to add later. So I'm excited. I'm also tired <laughs> and my hand is not happy. It, feels okay for the most part, but then I'll like stop typing and it'll just like burn. <sighs> Nerve pain sucks. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it. Um, I have a lot of nerve issues um, because of uh, surgery I had a few, uh, 10 years ago, I think, ish. No, more than 10. I'm old. Um, when I was like 12. And uh, yeah, I've had, a lot, I've had a lot of nerve issues because of it. 
but this one, it, when it's in your hand, it just sucks. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this, but overall, I feel pretty good about the work that I've done today. Um, for, you know, the kind of rocky day that I've had, um, both like hand-wise and head-wise, because I got hit with the big sad and, um, yeah, but so far it's going, it's going okay. I'm liking what's happening. I'm thinking this is a stronger beginning, which I enjoy. And so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna keep working for a little bit, but I think, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do like one or two more chapters and then, and then I'll be done. It is just after six and I just finished my six chapters for the day. If I do uh, six chapters every day, I can be done before the start of camp, which is exciting. Um, so far I'm changing every chapter so that I've outlined, but um, there I'm able to use a lot of what I've already written, which is nice. And like I said, uh, I think it's just a stronger beginning, which is really exciting. So that's all I have for this vlog today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was enjoyable and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Bye.